Okay, so if you have the new Echo Show 10 with the motion screen, or you consider getting it, there's some features in there that I want to point out in this video. Okay, so one of the first feature I want to show you how to turn off the motion from following around quick, fast, and in a hurry. So what you want to do is swipe down from the top, and then there's a motion icon that's on the screen that you can touch. Once you touch that, that's going to cut off the motion and it won't follow you around like it normally does when you call out her name. Okay, so there's some other features that you can access through the setting that has to do with the motion. So you wanna swipe from the top, and then you wanna go into settings, and then when you get into settings, you're gonna see motion. You click on that right there, and it got some options here that you can play with. So the first one is gonna turn off the motion from activating regardless, whether you have a video call, or you call out her name, or whatever the case may be. The second one down is motion preference. So you can go into motion preference and this is where you can control the motion. So if you don't want the motion to activate on every little thing, this is the spot you're going to go to control that. So the first one say on all activities. So it doesn't matter whether you're watching a movie or you ask her a question or anything else, playing music, you name it. That means all activity, she's going to activate the motion screen. The next selection is select activities. So only when you're making calls, media, or you're watching a movie or display is on a recipe or something like that. That's the only time if you choose selective activities. Now the last one is gonna be based on your voice only. So your voice command is gonna activate her to follow you around. If not, she's not gonna do it. So if you choose the on request option, then all you have to do is just let her know to follow you. And then she's going to start following you around. Other than that, she's not going to do it unless you tell her. So those are your motion preference that you have control of. Okay, so if you ever need to adjust the range of motion or change the idle position, this next sentence is where you're going to do it, where it says device mapping and idle position. That's where you're going to make your adjustment. Okay, so after you choose that setting, now it's going to go into where it asks you, do you want to see your current view? So you can click view and then it will show you how far it's going to go as far as the motion from left to right. So you just have to let it do its thing. And then once it's finished, it's going to go back to your current position that you were viewing in. Now the next screen is where you're going to set your range. So right now it's at full range, but if you don't want it to go full range, you can adjust these little slider bars on the left and the right to adjust it. And then if you hit preview, it's not going to go as far as it did before when I made that adjustment earlier. So you see, it didn't go all the way around like it did. And now it's going to go back to the left. So right now it's telling me that's going to be the new range of motion that I selected. But I'm going to go ahead and just leave it like it is. I'm going to hit preview again to put it back in the current position. Every time you move the position on the slider bar, you have to do a preview for it to learn that new position before you can click next again. Now, once you find the range of where you want it to go as far as motion, then you want to click next. Now it wants me to adjust my idle position. Now your idle position is where the screen is going to rest when the device is not being used. So if you want it to face a certain direction, just go ahead and set it as that idle position. So you just choose that idle position where you want the screen to rest when you're not being used. So if I want it right there, that's what I would choose. And then I would click done. And now I know my range of motion is set. And now the idle position is going to be directly facing me because that's what I choose. Now, if the device happened to bump into something while it's being moved, it's going to let you know by just displaying something on the screen. So right now on the screen, it says telling me that the device has bumped into something. It says your device bumped into something. Try again or clear the path. So it will actually go to the motion of letting you know that it bumped into something while it's making that adjustment. So make sure whenever you're setting up your device that it has a clear path. And if you're making any adjustment as far as the motion, make sure it has a clear path. Now, as far as motion, it's going to follow you around during phone calls and movies and stuff like that. Anytime the camera is active. Now, one key note here, the room has to have lights for the motion to work. If it's a dark room, then the motion is not going to work. If the light is too low, the motion is not going to work either. So the camera does need light in order for it to work properly. 
what is doing is tracking you and it cannot see in the dark just like you. Now, if you give a command and it's waiting for that second command, it's always going to follow you. So let me give an example right now. As you can see, no matter where I go, the screen is following me around. So if I move to the left or I move to the right, it's just going to follow me. And that's going to happen every time I give a request and it's waiting for another request to come in. Now, once it goes back to the main screen, the home screen, I should say, where it does the little slider thing from advertisement and stuff like that, then the motion is going to stop. That same following feature is going to work when you're doing a recipe, watching TV, on a video chat, and all that stuff. So that's how this motion thing works. Now, if you turn off the camera, it's going to automatically turn off the motion. The motion is going to be disabled. And it will let you know on the screen that it's doing that. Another thing that's going to turn off the motion is picking up the device. So if I happen to pick up the device, it's going to tell me that the motion is temporarily disabled until I put it back down on a stable surface. So those are the things that activate and deactivate the motion and all the settings that you can go into at the current time. Okay, so that's what I wanted to cover in this video about the motion on this new Echo Show 10. The only thing, like I said in the last video, that you cannot do with the screen automatically is to ask it to tilt up and down. That's something you'd have to do manually. Who knows, maybe in a future version, Amazon will eventually add the tilt up and down feature. Okay, so here's another tip that I want to leave with you before I end this video. You can actually verbally tell her to turn off the motion. So just say her name and just say turn off motion. And if you want to turn it back on, just say her name again and tell her to turn the motion back on. Okay, so that's the motion feature that I wanted to cover in this new Echo Show 10. If you already have the Echo Show 10 and didn't know about these features, now you know. And if you were considering getting this new Echo Show 10, now you know what the motion capabilities are. Make sure you stay tuned for more future videos of highlighted features of this new Echo Show 10. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.